Hi YouTube. Things have been a little rough around here. We're sort of recuperating from all the upset. And then I just um, found out too that my um, son was supposed to contact his wife a couple days ago and hasn't. So it's like wherever he is safe or not. I have a feeling he is safe, but um, anyway. But that's not why I'm on here today. This will probably be sort of brief. Um, like I said, still kind of in recuperating mode. But um, I was watching a video a couple days ago. And um, somebody had mentioned that God has forsaken us. Like when Christ was on the cross. And he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? That's him, what he did for our sins. And God wasn't supposed to save him. And yes, we to pick up our cross and walk in Christ's footsteps, um, God has not forsaken us. Jesus already did that for us. If that were the case, then why would there be so many... Um, passages in the Bible telling us to pray without ceasing and what we ask will be given and all these other things. So that would go totally con contrary to what is taught in the scriptures, um, how to pray to God and what, why, if, if God's forsaken me, then I might as well just wait till the last day when I die, when I meet him. And he'll tell me whether I'm cool or not. And, um, you know, do you see my meaning there? So I put a couple days thought into this. And it's like, and I tried to write the person that said it. And my comment was removed. I don't know if YouTube did it or if they did it. Um, also, I had taken the time because it was mentioned that a Roman will be um the antichrist that some people think that's the way that is and um that the vatican has all the money in the world and whatever that's not quite true either and i tried to go through the lineage i took about a half hour's time going through the lineage of how like first it was like the chinese and how they became like the dramatic tribes even in Mongolia and how they moved up into um I didn't I didn't go from the Chinese up into um uh the Nordic countries. I started how Rome invaded England and the Germanic and the Slavic tribes around there. And this keep in mind is all Jewish descent, just like Hitler tried to kill his own people, being that they were German Jews. And the same thing with the Jesuits that are within the Vatican, all Jews. And the money that most people hold, the money in this world, is the Khazars, the Khazar Jews that are from like Bohunk or Bohemian or Slavic background, which could be German, um, Polish, Slavic, Czechoslovakian. Um, I could go into many others, but how uh, English, how the Germans, um, Rome invaded England and actually became some of the Germanic tribes within England. And they're still keep in mind all Jews and they control the media, they control the banks, they own most of the land in the world. So in all reality, that's who's it's not a Roman, it's the Khazar Jews, which are the fake Jews that are spoken about in the Bible. So I went into like a brief history of trying to educate somebody that just really would rather pass on disinformation. And I know some of you, some of my subs, watch the same channel I'm talking about. 
so it is put upon my heart that I have to say something about it, whether or not I'm able to say, you know, if somebody's like Israel News Live giving out information um, that is going to deceive people, then something needs to be said about it. And it's hard enough for us to get out here and talk about the Khazars anyway, because they control everything. They're the Jewish mafia or the Russians, whatever. They're all combined and intertwined. It doesn't matter where in the world they live because they, it's worldwide, you know. So I, I needed to say something. It's like, I just can't let this go because God has not forsaken us, you know. Like I said, if that was the case, then there wouldn't be any sense in praying. I mean, we could still be good people, but what would trying to talk to the Father even matter if he's not even listening, you know? And if you don't know the Father, that's what Christ is for, to get you closer to the Father, it says to seek his face. So if he's forsaken me, why am I running after somebody that wants nothing to do with me? That's silly. You know? So, yeah. I I had to say something, like I said. So anyway, excuse me. I'm going to light a cigarette and talk to you a bit. But So, yeah. It's, I, I prayed about it. And it's like, still felt like I had to say something. And I tried to say it to the person and every comment, like three, four different comments. And like I said, if it was YouTube trying to stop me from posting my information, that might be one thing. But I don't know that it was. I, um, If somebody knows, uh, have you had any problems making comments? I didn't on anybody else's videos. So, um I felt like my information was uh, being eliminated because it was going contrary to what the narrative is to try and fool people. If, it, if people thought that it was the Vatican that was the Antichrist and it actually is not, you know, they're out in the public figure, they're, they're up front. And that is what people are going to believe. But that is not the true nature of the beast. That's not who it is. And that is not the bloodline. It's the Jesuits, which are the Jews in the Vatican. They're the ones that actually control the whole show. So, anyway. Otherwise, what are they doing there, huh? Yeah, what are a bunch of Jews doing in the Vatican in a Catholic city. That's a little little um conspicuous, <laughs> you know, or or you know what I mean, what I'm trying to say. It's a little uh odd, you know. So anyway. Yeah, things haven't been too wonderful lately to tell you the truth. There's one good thing. My um, third born granddaughter turns 10 today. So her name's Joya, Joya Lynn. So that's um, kind of cool. <laughs> I got to meet her before I met any of my other ones. So yeah, that's my youngest son's daughter. He has one child as far as I know, <laughs> you know. I hope as far as he knows, too, <laughs> you know, <laughs> anyway. So, it was snowing a little bit here today. Um, not too much, just a light, light dusting. So nothing that we even have to worry about shoveling. And, um, it was funny. Uh, my brand new kitty Nelly with a broken leg. She's been playing with Doug's old cat, which is um, 11 now, I think. And Nelly's um, about three. And they were playing and she wore them out so bad 
the night before she wanted to play last night and he just laid on the floor he's like oh mama he says you know he was just wore out because she she was like relentless and they played like all night the night before and last night only a couple little times he just couldn't handle it anymore you know so kind of funny though cute that they're getting along and and it wasn't too rough or anything so that's good because like I say he had a tendency of being kind of a bully so but uh well I'm I am gonna cut this off I like I said I'm not really feeling the greatest um I'll probably be back tomorrow for sure um I think if all goes well I just wanted to make that really clear that God hasn't forsaken us. And, you know, although Jesus said that on the cross, God hadn't forsaken him there either because he ascended into heaven. That's not being forsaken. I mean, if you're in true great amount of pains, you would think that you were being forsaken, but you're probably being carried. I have to look at it optimistically, and I can't, um, like I said, I can't let it go. Had to make a video about this. Otherwise, there would be no sense in praying at all. You know, I'm sure, uh, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't hanging on the cross, but um, I don't think Jesus had to pray at that point, you know. But we're instructed to pray. And if we weren't, what, what would the sense be if we were forsaken? You know, now, um, the fallen that want God dead and want all of us dead, perhaps they are forsaken. But then we all wouldn't be in the same boat. So, well, everybody have a really nice night or day wherever you're at. Thank you for joining me, truly. Thank you for being here. I love you all. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back in better spirits right now. I could just scream inside. So many horrible things are going on in my life, like um, just, just crazy. So, all right, everybody. Thank you. Peace. Talk to you soon.